The universe is way bigger than you think. There are more stars in space than there are grains of sand on the beaches and all of the earth. We are so unbelievably small that we're worthless. No, no, you are important, okay? No matter how small we are. But you know what? Boy, you bit it. That Everybody, all you have to do if you want to save the entire planet, the world, save the universe, just click the subscribe button. There's no time to explain, just trust me. Go ahead, just do it now, click the subscribe button. Go, go, go. Okay, if anything, it'll really help me out and it'll make me feel better. And yeah, comment down below if you could visit any planet, what would it be? Would you go to Saturn? Would you go to Jupiter? Or would you go to Uranus? Let me know. And let's go! I've learned a horrifying fact. That you're single? <laughs> oh, I, I'm just, girl, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. Of all planets, the planet Uranus smells like farts Ew. and cat pee. Mostly farts. And it gets worse. Uranus's atmosphere has hydrogen sulfide and a little bit of ammonia. Uranus. Hydrogen sulfide is the smell of rotten eggs and extremely toxic farts. Ammonia is what cat pee smells like. Uh or your pee if you're extremely dehydrated. And these things might condense into clouds. So if you were on Uranus somehow and Uranus. tried to give it a little sniff, you would have... <laughs> you would immediately suffocate on fart clouds. It's not even, like Uranus isn't even trying to have redemption. It's embracing its reputation. Fart clouds? Is that what's going on in space? That's disgusting. You're telling me Uranus smells like fart? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm gonna say it with a straight face. Watch, here we go, take two, let's go. You're telling me Uranus smells like farts? Hey, I kept it together. How the heck does it smell like farts and cat pee? Ew. What does cat pee smell like? Who has a cat? Hey Siri, what does cat pee smell like? Here's an answer from migraine.com. Cat urine reeks of ammonia and can make an entire house smell if it's not taken care of right away. That's disgusting. Well guys, I guess we're not going to Uranus, all right? Uranus smells terrible. To clarify, I'm talking about the planet, all right? This is educational, learning, family friendly. But seriously, girl, keep it together. Talking about fart clouds. Girl, get up on out of here weird things caught on camera in space. <gasps> Those eyes though. <gasps> what is that? Rats in space? Oh my God. Okay, is that, was that real? Ugh, waffle shaped island on Mars. Female statue on Mars, are you serious? <gasps> Ew. That looks like that's from a movie. Like, that's crazy. It'd be so fun to like be in space and explore and see like all these crazy galaxies and nebulas and stars and asteroids and meteors. But it'd be scary because there's black holes and like there's, you know, gravitational pulls and like you don't know what's out there. And there's aliens. These are videos humans were never meant to see, part 19. Okay, so we all know how the moon gets hit by asteroids, but have you ever actually seen the moon get hit by one? No. If not, you're about to witness it. This video is both extremely fascinating and terrifying. Just look at the explosion this little asteroid causes. Just imagine if this asteroid was bigger. <gasps> Jeez. That's crazy. Look at the flick of the wrist. Dang, man! Like, you always see, like, the craters on the moon and stuff, but you never see the asteroid actually creating those craters. That's a legit, like, explosion. Uh, dang. Well, good thing we don't live on the moon. We're good, man. The Earth doesn't really get hit by as many asteroids because it has an atmosphere that burns up the asteroid. Therefore, it, like, disintegrates the asteroid before it can even hit the Earth. I mean, sometimes we get hit by asteroids, but they're not, like, huge or anything, so we're good. Your mom was good last night. Oh! Okay. Scariest sounds recorded in space. <gasps> what does space sound like? Let's see. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's a horror movie. These nebulas sound scary. Ugh.
the heck? That's what you sound like? Ew. If you ever find yourself out in space, uh, don't go near the Eskimo Nebula, all right? Or any nebulas. I mean, it sounds like these things about to explode. What is a nebula? A nebula is a distinct luminescent part of interstellar medium, which can consist of ionized, neutral, or molecular hydrogen, and also cosmic dust. Do you want me to keep reading? Your mom sucks. Excuse me? Why'd she sound so angry? Jeez, just a joke. Dang. So, aliens are real. This is great. Check out this video. We were just talking about aliens. I see nothing. <gasps> uh oh. Huh. Could be a balloon. The pilot said that he doesn't think that it's a balloon because if it was a balloon, they would have pushed it out of the path. Guys, I told you, Project Bluebeam. Check out my other video on Project Bluebeam because everything is coming to fruition right now. But if that's like an alien ship, why does it look like a, a dang diamond? You think it'd be a little bit more, you know, it'd look a little better than that, a little more high tech, complex. Not looking like a birthday balloon. Come on, aliens, you could do better than that. Step your spaceship game up. Extremely scary facts you need to know. Part four. Space is so vast, so large. The entire Andromeda galaxy could cross through our Milky Way galaxy and not touch or hit anything. Seriously? And you would still be a little bitch. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, dang, man, language. Was he really talking to me? You gonna insult me? Do you know who I am? <laughs> you don't? Nope. Okay, all right, well, fair enough. Oh, no. These are some terrifying facts about space that nobody ever told you, probably. Most of the time when you look up in the sky at nighttime, you're actually looking in the past. If you see a star and it is 20 light years away, when you look at it from now, you're seeing it 20 years ago in space. To give an example, since the sun is around 93 million miles away and it takes the sun's light around 10 minutes to 9 minutes to get here, that means when you look at the sun, you're always seeing it around 9 minutes in the past. So with that learned, when you look at a star in space, you're not actually seeing it in its real time. It's so far away that you can't actually see it in real time. That's not how the universe works. You're always seeing things behind. Gee, that, that's crazy too. If you saw a star explode, that means that explosion happened like millions of years ago. <laughs> Depending on how far the star is. It just takes that long for the light to reach us for and for us to see that explosion. It could be a star exploded hundreds of years ago and then we're just now seeing it. Dang, we are so far behind. It's like how another country won't get a movie until like five years later. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so sad. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one.